Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin here around the daily candle close. Um, yeah, we've seen upside action and we broke, even though only briefly, but we broke the previous high of the B wave. So we've made a new local high here. And we, I think we can now look at possibly further upside. It's, it's very early. I can't really confirm it yet, but we have some indications that now suggests that I, I did expect it to go a little bit lower um, in the previous video as an expanded flat because the expanded flat is the more likely pattern. But then again, as I said to you, there's no guarantee that we get into this area because we explored before also the triangle pattern. And um, the overall view here is that as long as we stay above 18,800, we are going to go higher, at least one more high in a wave five. And I had a lot, of, I read a lot of comments today that people are going short already. I would be extremely careful with short position at the moment. I would rather be positioned on the long side, at least short term, because going short here means, I mean, potentially, yeah, I mean, you could, you could speculate we're going to get into the green support area, but again, you, you're basically shorting just above support. I think that is not really the best way of doing it personally. And of course you can, you know, I could be wrong here. Um, markets sometimes do unlikely things, but shorting in a corrective wave is a bit difficult because you're not you're not shorting in line with the high level trend. The high level trend at the moment is up, still. Yeah, as long as we hold this support area. Therefore, I would be careful with positioning on the short side. And if this is really um, a running flat, which sometimes happens in a wave four, especially when it's bullish then um, yeah, this could lead to quite some upside here in the fifth wave. So of course I don't know it yet. Next step would be to break above this B wave high more substantially. Um, we have already something that you could argue is a small micro five wave move to the upside. Yeah, if we look at the sort of micro level here, so it's maybe even the three minute chart. Yeah, we could argue this is a small like one, two setup here. Then either we had a short three and four, even though that, no, I think it avoids to cut into the wave one price action, but that's possible. Or um, we count this as a one, two, all of this here was the three, then this a four and a five, and we're now coming down here in the A, B, C maybe, yeah, that we basically have our first one, two setup here. Um, I'm gonna sketch that out on the chart now. Just as a suggestion, of course, we are still we are, we are still sort of broadly here in the range, if you can see that, yeah. It's not an Elliott wave triangle anymore, but still it's some kind of a, it's some kind of a range here. It's not the easiest pattern to read. And I made a few changes here today. And I mainly make these lower level counts here to give you some orientation, to share my view, to show you how this can be labeled. But as I always say, micro counts, you know, um, they are very, very, you know, you need to be flexible with them. You need to be flexible with them. At the moment, I think it is absolutely a valid count here as an ABC structure running flat, which means we have three waves down in an A wave. We have three waves down, it's a corrective wave pattern in this B wave, and we had very clearly five waves down in the C wave. Now in the previous video, I thought because it's the more likely pattern to get an expanded flat, which is the C wave is below the A wave, um, which means the wave C would be a five wave move, which is the more likely option because we had five waves down, but we didn't get three waves up. Yeah, we made a new high. So that option is off the table. So the running flat is for me the most, the next likely option, but this is still, it hasn't substantially broken out yet. Yes, we've made a slightly higher high, but we, we never sustained it. And as you can see here, we're actually in something that you would call an ascending wedge, which doesn't make the situation easier because an ascending wedge is a rather bearish pattern. This is morphed, morphed into that situation today. So what I could, what, what I could imagine happens, but this is only, you know, nobody knows the future. It's only sort of what, is a possibility that this wave five isn't gonna be impulsive, but that after this running flat in wave four, we are gonna follow this wedge pattern as an ending diagonal, yeah, uh, which sometimes happens in wave fives, which means the sort of trend is getting exhausted, but it's a typical way to end a wave five. 
And this would be like, we had a wave one here maybe, then we're getting a wave two, three, four, five. Yeah, and it can it can follow that for quite a bit. Nah, I didn't wanna draw a new line. It could follow that for quite a bit before it then breaks down. Before it then breaks down either down really, yeah, and we're on our way into the, to the continuation of the bear market, which after the next high is significant risk because we could end a higher degree wave four and we will move down once more in a five, make a lower low, get into the 14 to 15K region. It's also possible that we are gonna end a higher degree wave three there, which would come down in a wave four and would then move up even further in wave five. And that's the first step to ending the bear market because then we have five proper waves to the upside. If that happens, I mean, if we, if we see an evidence for a, for a substantial top in place there, I will give you the support area for this wave four. And if that breaks, then we are most likely in a continuation of the bear market. So this will be interesting now over the next few days. So in summary, if we now break out of the wedge pattern to the upside, I think then we are clearly in a fifth wave and could get to these targets here around 23.7 to 25.6K. If we don't break out, yeah, then this could become an ending diagonal in wave five. I hope that clears it, clears it up. It's not my preferred option. An ending diagonal is pretty awful because diagonals are hard to read and they look corrective. So you never really know, is that still maybe an overshooting B wave? But if we see here like, um, you know, a clearer pattern evolving, I will be able to give you a clearer view. Um, anything else to add? Not really. So I think that's sort of where we go with at the moment, what we go with. And uh, let's see, obviously for this to work out now, this scenario, what are the conditions? The conditions are now that we are holding this C wave low at um, 20,612. If we break below that, well, what would be the other alternative? I mean, mm, yeah, we, we could then, I mean, we could still look at a more complex corrective pattern. Yeah, we could look at something like, we had three waves here, so it could be a wave W, then we could get maybe here a wave W, so, W, X, Y, still possible. But only then if we break below this, that C wave low. So you have that signal, yeah. All right, that's my update about a Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There's additional content each day and some stuff about mindset and so on. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.